Hello, welcome. Today I'm going to be converting the rest of the fluorescent light fixtures in my basement to these Sunco LED tubes. So we're going to take all the old fluorescent bulbs out, remove the ballasts, and wire up straight to these LED tubes. They fit right in the old holders. Uh, I believe these are T12 four foot fixtures. And then this is a T8 size four foot fixture. It goes right into the same lamp holders, tombstones, whatever you call them. Use quite a bit less power and then I've noticed also with these, I got the 5000 Kelvin daylight rating LED tubes. I've noticed pulling out the fluorescent tubes when I put these in, I can get away with just two tubes per, or two LED tubes per fixture whereas the old fixtures had four of the fluorescents. That bulb is rated at 34 watts this bulb was rated at 18 watts, so quite a bit of savings in power, um, but also I just like the, the light output of these better. There's two of these per fixture, so get rid of those two ballasts. I'll put a link in the description for these tube lights, for replacements, and then I'll probably just do a video doing one fixture. I've already done a couple, so I'm just going to do one more fixture so you guys can see it. And there'll be an Amazon link in the description for these. Let's get started. All right, so this is the picture we're going to do. Um, as I open this up, you'll probably be able to tell right away that this fixture only has two bulbs in it currently. It does hold four. Uh, the first two fixtures I've changed down here had all four bulbs in them. This is still going to be a, a energy savings, but it won't be as drastic on this fixture versus the other two I already changed. But I just wanted to throw that out there so you don't hit me in the comments. Let's get started. All right, so to start with, there's just these two little tabs that you pop down that allows you to swing this door down, access your bulbs. <laughs> I think that probably blocks the camera. There, hopefully that angle is a little bit better. I'm gonna go. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and kill the lights to remove power from these. I'll switch up another light. Hopefully you can see. Now to remove the center panel which hides your wiring and your ballast. All you do, you, if you can see these tabs here, you squeeze at these points to get it out of those tabs and you can take that piece down. Just kind of finagle it out of there. So if you can see over on the left hand side there, where our incoming power is, so I'm gonna take these, Verify your power is off. And I'll put wire nuts back on our incoming power. If I can get this tape off of here. All right. As you can see, our incoming power to the fixture is totally disconnected. I wire nutted off those lines. I'm going to go ahead and turn the light switch back on and give us a little more light down here. You may or may not notice a difference, so I'm going to leave a little Milwaukee light set up for you still. Okay, next thing I'm going to do. Is cut the wires off of the ballasts. You need to save. You need to save a couple of these wires as long as possible, so you can tie the lights from one end, the power from one end of this light fixture back over here. So cut them as close to the ballast as. If that makes any sense to you, 
Touch wires off as close to the ballast as possible. All right, once you have your wires cut, you can take these screws. Each, each of these ballasts is held on by a single screw on one side, and then it just pushes it into a slot on the other. So you pull the screw out, pull your ballast out. Okay, so I've already used my meter and verified this. I forget which, uh, which pair does the inner set and which pair does the outer set, but they're in sets. So this left hand side of the fixture is either going to be the two inner bulbs or the two outer bulbs. And these LED tubes are just powered from one end. So these yellow wires you no longer need. You can just cut those off short. They will no longer be live. Those are probably the wires I'll use to jump across from here to the other side. So the way this is wired, I believe the ballast actually show you this wiring diagram, but each pair of wires goes to one fixture. So okay, so I don't know if you can tell or not, but after we cut out the yellow wires, we have two red wires and two blue wires. The two blue wires went to one bulb, the two red wires went to another bulb. So what we're going to have to do is take one blue wire go to hot and take the other blue wire and go to neutral and that will that'll power up one bulb and then we're going to take one red wire go to hot and one red wire and go to neutral and that'll power up a second bulb this either be the two inner bulbs or the two outer bulbs you have to check with the meter and verify which is which but like I said I'm going to set this up so if you wanted to you could run all four bulbs in it I'm just not planning on it I'm just going to use two bulbs per fixture I'm going to go ahead and take my first blue wire and I'm going to cut, cut some of that back because I don't need all that extra wire. You can leave yourself a little wire to work with later if you had to. But all the wire you leave, you got to tuck up somewhere. Okay, just go ahead and strip all these so they're ready to go. And make sure you verify that your light fixtures are the same. You not just take my word for it. Um, my ballasts have the wiring diagrams on them. And you just gotta power power these bulbs with 120. You don't need ballasts anymore, they get they totally eliminate the ballast. So check the wiring diagram on your ballast and figure out how you can take the wiring that's there and make each each tombstone, each lamp holder have a hot and a neutral because these you power these LED tubes from one end the way these are set up all right on the other side we're going to do the same thing I'm going to get a little bit closer hopefully you can see that I'm going to take the two yellow wires that are no longer going to be in use I'm just going to cut those off Same deal, there'll be a pair of red wires and a pair of blue wires. So I'm going to take a blue and run over to hot, and a blue and run over to neutral, and that'll be one bulb. And then I'll take a red and run over to hot, and a red and run over to neutral, and that'll be the other bulb on this side. Probably used the yellow wires I cut out run over and tie in. Let's go ahead and do that. Do that now. Go ahead and strip all these wires. Strip these yellow wires as well. So I'm going to take a blue and a red, 
put together with this yellow wire. Wire nut those. And the way I was taught to do this is give each wire a pull and that wire nut make sure there's nothing loose. You got a good tight connection. And then you can take your wire nuts up before you put everything away here. Alright, so that's one set. We'll call that the hot side. The other set. Okay, that's good. So all I'm, do all I'm doing here is extending these wires. You can see that I've got a red, a blue, and my yellow extension wire. And the other wire nut, I have a red, a blue, and my yellow extension wire. So now I've got enough length to run over and connect to our incoming power. Let's hammer again. Okay, so now that you have your yellow extension wires over here to your incoming power, take a red, a blue, and a yellow. Go ahead and wire at those to our incoming neutral here. Take a red, a blue, and my yellow extension wire. these together with my incoming hot wire. Okay, and then you can take this little tray piece. You can see these, hopefully you can see these tabs a little better now on each side of it. So just squeeze this tray together here and fit in these slots up here. So I just gotta play with it. Put it into place. you don't have any wire pinched anywhere like I have a wire sticking out the other side there that I didn't get tucked into the tray very well so I'm fix that let's try that how's that look much better Grab a couple of these new LED bulbs, put in. So as I said earlier, these LED tubes, they're just powered from one end. Uh, it comes with this little, little protector there. Pull off your, your plug, whatever you call that. So this end that's labeled here, this is the power end. See this side isn't labeled. So if you hook power up to this side, it's not going to do anything. You have to have power hooked up to the other side. The other side is just a dummy, basically, just to hold it in place, just a holder. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put these in with power on. I'm gonna do the outer two fixtures, the outer two bulbs in this fixture. Okay, you push in there, give it a twist. Got nothing.
try that bolt. So that one works. Okay. So something to pay attention to. Like I said, those are only powered from one end. See how I thought I had a bad bulb or a wiring issue? It wasn't that it was a bad bulb or a wiring issue. I put the power in in the dead tombstone. So this end over here, when I hook these wires up, must power these two inner bulbs. So that only these two have power to them right now on this end. This end does not have power to it. It's powered from the other end over here. Go ahead and rotate this. All right. Close this up. It just swings up. And then you have these two little hooks. You swing back into place. And that latches your cover. And there we go, that fixture's done. It's now LED. Thanks for watching. So that fixture we just did, open it up, it's surprising, there's only two bulbs in it. Here's the next fixture I'm doing. As you can see, all four bulbs are in it, but two of the bulbs are dead. I'm assuming it's probably a bad ballast. Um, this LED conversion is gonna eliminate the ballast altogether anyway. So if anything ever quits working again, you know it's a bulb, there's no other issue. So yeah, so three of my four fixtures in this area had four bulbs in them. This one only happens to have two working. So we're going to go ahead and switch to LED. I'm just gonna throw this in there, just so you can see it. And again, these bulbs are rated, I don't know if you can read that or not, 34 watts a piece. I believe the new LED bulbs are already 18 watts a piece. So close to a 50% reduction in power consumption for better light, in my opinion. So that's, that's pretty cool. Love the LED technology.